Good morning. I am glad you are with us today. Steve DeVal from Authority Motor Coach. We are actually at the factory where they build the wind sport. And a lot of you said, you know what, I'd love to see a wind sport. I'd love to see a bunkhouse model. So today we're going to spend the next half hour or so talking about the 34J. A lot of great improvements to talk about. We're going to walk you around the outside, kind of show you how to set it up. New decor, a lot of new features to talk about from the chassis to the motor. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. So with the wind sport 34J, you're going to have a lot of great features on the outside, especially when it comes to storage. This whole side outside the two bays going to be storage for you. So right back here, let's go ahead and start right back here. You have a nice storage bay here. You do have lights which you can control using Rapid Camp Plus. We'll get into that when we get inside. I actually have it on my phone, so we'll do a little demonstration of that. You do have your fuel fill here. Right over here, you do have your gas generator, 5,500 watts. This is going to power everything in your motorhome. The nice thing is this runs directly off your tank. So you have two 13.5 ACs up top. You can run that no problem. Residential refrigerator, run it no problem. Microwave, no problem. So anything that you want, when this is on, you're not going to have an issue. One of the things that uh, I like to recommend, and you've probably heard me say this before, a lot of people don't always use their generator for one reason or another, but because you've paid for it, use it. Uh, especially when you're going down the road, you know, you have two uh, air conditioning units, and this can sleep up to nine people. So this is going to be fully loaded wherever your trip is going, right? So when you have just a cabin full of family and friends, you're not going to cool the whole thing down just using the air conditioning coming out of the vents up front, right? So turn on your generator when you're driving down the road. Set your thermostat. Going to do a couple things for you. Keep your passengers cool. Going to help you maintain that temperature too because we're at that time of year, especially now where it's a nice crisp fall morning here, but it's going to be 80 in the afternoon. Well, that's not when you're going to want to turn your air conditioner on because the ambient temperature is going to be warm. You're going to want a little cooler. We recommend setting your thermostat about 10 to 15 degrees below the ambient temp. That way you don't freeze up the coil. So run that and uh, set your uh, set your air conditioner wherever you want and have a comfortable trip making that drive very comfortable something new and if you look at the wind sport and you think boy something looks a little different that's because we added three inches to the tires 22 and a half inch tires now this is the max pack you're going to get a bigger f53 chassis up to 22,000 pounds and with these 22 and a half inch tires you're going to have uh, a better ride, you have more tire surface hitting the road, you're, you know, just a great ride. I mean, and the nice thing about the bigger chassis is it allowed us to add taller storage base. You'll be able to fit a lot more items back here for your adventures. If you're going to be gone for a, a week, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, you'll be able to, to fit everything you need in here. You have your 50 amp shore power cord right here. The nice thing is, is it's detachable. You can go ahead and throw it in any one of these bays. Uh, when you're hooking up your shore power, remember at the campsite you're going to take and you're going to make sure that the circuit breakers are off. You plug in, then you can go ahead and turn your circuit breakers on. One thing I like to do, you'll notice our slide wall is in. This is a full wall slide and you can put that out uh, with your remote and we'll show you how to do that. But the engine needs to be running, so I can't do that right now. We will when we go inside. Uh, go ahead, pull into camp. All right, get uh, everything out that you need. Plug in to your shore power. And then go ahead and put your jacks down. You can put your slides out after your jacks are down. Once you're in uh, to the shore power, you're going to have the voltage that you need to uh, get your slide out. So the motor also needs to be running here. Slam latch storage bay doors. This is your black tank. You have the exterior shower. You have a tank flush. What's nice about this is uh, this, this swivels. Remember when you're pulling your handles there when you're at camp, you're going to go black. Then you're going to go gray. Make sure everything is rinsed out and then uh, give it a nice rinse with your exterior shower. You do have a cable connect, so if the campground you're at has cable, this is where you're going to plug in. You have a nice light in here, so if you're draining the tanks at night, you're going to be able to see. You can turn those on inside. One of the things, even though this has the Siphon 360, which really keeps a lot of stank out of the tank, as I like to say, um, you know, a lot of people will keep their handles open the entire time they're set up. I don't like to do that just because I don't like just, you know, the exhaust and the fumes coming through. So I just drain my tanks in the morning, maybe in the afternoon, then at night. Have over here another nice storage bay, nice durable rotocast. There's a drain plug inside too, so if you take, maybe you're going to use this as a, a tailgating machine, and you can because there's a TV on the other side. 
you know what you can do? You can, you can load this up with ice and throw some drinks in there. You have a nice cooler. And the nice thing is, is because there's a drain plug in the back, simply unscrew the drain plug. All that water will drain out. Muddy shoes, boots, whatever it may be. You're coming back from a trip, throw in here. Great, easy to rinse out. City water connection is right here. So you're going to go ahead and plug in your city water when you are at camp. You plug in here, you turn it, plug into the, to the spigot, you turn it on. This is where your city water goes. Uh, over here, another great storage bay. I told you this thing is just full of storage. A little bit of pass-through because of that bigger chassis that this is on. You have a little bit more pass-through, so if you have some skis, maybe some fishing poles, you can go ahead. You can throw those right in there. You do have a hot water heater. Uh, you're going to have a six-gallon hot water tank on this for your showers, for your sinks. Another storage bay. I told you this thing just doesn't run out of storage, does it? It just keeps going and going and we're going to give you one more storage bay. This is also coming in, by the way, at 30 feet, 8 inches long, so just under 36 feet. you got 12 feet, 2 inches with your ACs, so you can use all of those specs when you're traveling. There are certain parks, and maybe you want a spot that fits this length motorhome, so 35.8 on this. There's another one of your 22 and a half inch tires with these Alcoa aluminum wheels. This gives it a nice, beefy look. Up here you have heated remote mirrors, you have a side view camera, we'll show you where you can see that when we are inside and the dash lights up on that 10.1 uh, inch touchscreen, but this will give you a nice clear view down the road so you can see what's behind you. There's also a rear view camera you can turn on, so if you're towing, you got an 8,000 pound hitch, keep that on the entire time, or when you're backing up, it's nice you can clearly back into your space. Another thing I want to point out because we keep talking about this new F53 is under the hood here, Brand new 7.3 liter V8 gas engine, 350 horse, 468 pound feet of torque. Gives you a nice V8 rumble, going to be a little more efficient, going to be a little quieter than the old V10 that we had. It's a great driving experience. I have yet to drive one with the new engine and the new tires. This is actually the first one that, uh, that we've made here at the factory. So it came right out of the plant and rolled right here. So I have yet to get behind the wheel, but I will give you a full report once I have. Moving down your campsite here, you have your another, another mirror. Again, this will show you the right side when you have your directional on. A couple of, this is called a couple of different things here. Some people call it a trucker's window. Some people call it a pet window for old uh, Poochie to look out of or what it's really for. If you're here at a stoplight and you have someone sitting over here on, on, their, on their motorcycle, you can see that, okay? So you can, there's no encroaching. It's just a nice safety feature to have. Another storage bay. I'm telling you, this thing is just packed, packed with, you can pack the storage with, there you go, wind sport. And this, this kind of gives it away. Venice Stone, brand new decor. You're gonna love the way this looks. It's called Venice Stone, all right? And when we go inside, you will see Beautiful gray cabinetry, it's awesome. Entry door, which we'll talk about here. Furnace right there, that's your exhaust. That is gonna get a little hot, so if you're out here on the campsite and it's crisp, and you do have the furnace on, be aware that that is gonna get hot. This is gonna be your propane fill. Right there, you can fill up your propane at anywhere. Anywhere you get propane filled, you can fill that tank up and use it for your exterior propane connection. Now this is going to uh, run your furnace, your exterior propane connection. This is great for gas grills or fire pits or whatever you need. You can go ahead and connect to there. Uh, just a quick note for own current owners who have this, if you're not getting the gas flow that you want, this is regulated. So you're gonna wanna take and remove the regulator from your device, be it your grill or your fire pit, in order to get the full flow from there. We talked about a little outside entertainment. Here you are. Look at that. You got a TV, you have a Bluetooth soundbar, comes out on a swivel. So that's a nice feature to have if you want to do a little drive in, some family movie night, or maybe just some music while you're cooking on the grill there. You can go ahead and pair your phone up. It's a Bluetooth device, so you just simply pair it up like you would anything else and then stream your favorite playlist. Now, let's say that uh, you can't find your phone because you have too many pockets. All right, so you're standing out and you're like, wow, that sun is really bright. Now, granted, we are standing in the shade. I do have the Vega Touch Mira app loaded on my Rapid Camp Plus, and all you need to do when you are standing outside, hit the button, look at that, you can put out your awning. And one of the great features of Rapid Camp Plus, having this connected to your remote, is you can um, 
use it to put out your awning, you can use it to put out your slides, which is really convenient. When you pull into a very tight camp space and there's some trees over there and you want to make sure you clear the trees with your awning or your slide, you can actually stand out here and do what you need to do to get this out. There are also lights underneath it here, so we have that all hooked up for you. We're going to go to our light button and we're going to turn on our awning lights and there you go. They're located on the arms now, which really gives you a nice light to come back to if you're at the campground, you're using the pool and the hot tub, walking the trails, maybe you're coming back from a, uh, an adventure and you didn't put the awning in, you left the lights on, going to bright up, uh, lighten up your entire space. Moving on, one more bay over here. All right, a couple things going on here. These are going to be your house batteries right here. You have a couple of circuit breakers in there. Say something's not working, maybe your jacks aren't going down, and we'll show you how to put those down in a few minutes. One of these breakers may be tripped, so go ahead and uh, you're just going to pop that right back into place. These are the hydraulics for your one-touch leveling jacks. We'll show you how to operate those, but in the event, you would need to override those. Real easy to do. You loosen these uh, in pairs, you pull this cap out, and you wind it back in. Pet tie-down right here. We've talked about traveling with pets, and this is one where you're going to want to take your buddies with you. You can hook the, the, the leash here, or the chain, or the tie-down, run that through here and out. Maybe you want to use it to lock up your bikes at night, whatever it may be. Once you lock your bay, it's going to stay nice and secure for you. Moving back down the side here, you do have some outlets on the outside. You have some 110, so you can run a cord there, maybe hook up a, a blender, or uh, you know, if you wanted to plug in a video game and run it into the TV, do some outside Mario Kart, you can most certainly do that. Or maybe you want to do a lot of outdoor cooking. Look at this. I love this setup. Look at this. This is new cabinets. Coastline gray we're talking about. Isn't that just a beautiful color? Love that color. You have a light back here, a little shelter for you. Storage. This is for your fridge. So this is a 110 fridge. So you do have an 1800 watt inverter on your wind sport here. You can store what you need in here, adjust your temperature. This is a real great option. Love the exterior kitchen. Moving out back here, another large storage bay. You can see nice and tall. You can fit all kinds of boxes in there. Your luxury collection, which we're going to show you when you walk inside. And now back, uh, we talked about uh, your hitch. You have a ladder that you can go up top. Uh, 100 watts of solar is optional. Uh, this motorhome happens to have it on it. Uh, so you can get 100 watts of solar up top for maintenance purposes. That's when you're going to want to climb your ladder up there. And finally, we do have our uh, fresh water tank. This is where you're going to fill that. So you unscrew that. You put in your hose. Now, here's something to talk about uh, with your hose. You're going to want to use a different hose if you're using uh, your sandy flush to flush your tank and if you're filling your water and you're connected to the campground, right? So make sure you're using hoses for drinking water. When you fill this up here, um, you got an 80 gallon fresh water tank and a 40 black and a 40 gallon gray tank on this motorhome. So I think I'm going to close up here. We're going to head inside. Tom, I'll let you go first. Uh, we do have the slide in just to kind of show you the room here that you get and we're going to put this slide out for you. Up he goes. This is just a great look. Our design team just rocked it. They rocked it on this one. The nice cabinets, the nice soft surfaces. I love this darker color here. This actually has a child safety seat because you can fit the entire family in here. If one of them happens to be little and in, in the child seat, you can tie them down here. You do have seat belts here. You do have seat belts here. And again, this sleeps up to nine people depending on, on their size. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this up, but I wanted to give you the amount of room. You can see, uh, if you spin around real quick, Tom, here's your bathroom. You can still get into your bathroom. You can still, if you want to go back to the bed, you can go ahead and go back to the bed and take a little rest of room while you're, uh, while you're sleeping there. Nice king size bed in your 34J. Tom's walking her back up and now you got to remember Tom fit through there I wish I could show you just how much gear that he has on it in here it's insane it's absolutely insane but uh, he's got cameras and wires and he was able to take all that back to the bedroom all right so you're set up you're plugged into shore power you have your sewer hooked up you have your water hooked up 
Uh, with the water, turn your water pump off, which you can do from Rapid Camp Plus because you're hooked up to city water. You'll turn your water pump on when you're draining from your uh, fresh tank here. So we want to put the slides up. First, we'll put the jacks down, right? Parking brake in, motor on. Over here, one touch, you turn it on. You hit auto. Jacks will go down. Going to level you out. You also have a manual setting so you can bring them down either in pairs, either the front, the back, the left, or the right, till you are completely leveled. To put out your slide room, you have to find your phone again. Where did I put it this time, Tom? Now it's in this pocket. All right, so we're going to go to Vega Touch Mira. And... All right, so here we go. Here's your slides. Right over here, confirm. All right, yep. Emergency brake is on. Everything's good to go. And you're going to the slides button. You have the nice full wall slide over here on the driver's side. You're going to hit extend. And out she goes. Now you're going to open up your living room. So as this slides out, you have a couple of motors on each side that are driving this out. Their entire purpose, in, out, in, out. They're not smart motors. They don't remember. Their sole goal is just to go in and out to put your slides out. Sometimes they will get a little bit out of sync, which happens, especially in this motor home when you have kids running around and things are dropped or they're walking in front of the slide, you're like, oh, or maybe your, your hand comes off the button or you realize you are too close to a tree and you have to stop. All right, so if they would get out of sync here, six quick presses, one, two, three, four, five, six. Did you hear that little noise? Now your motors are synced up for the next time. Uh, you know what, Tom, while we're up here, I'm gonna move uh, our party glasses real quick and take you through this dash radio. This is a great setup here for infotainment on the road. We're going to go to your home screen. A lot of great features. You have your radio. You have Sirius XM satellite radio, so you can find anything you want. If you like music or talk radio or sports, there it is. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Android Auto is one of my favorites. You simply plug in your phone and up it comes. You will have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, just like that. I mean, it's just a great, great feature to have. Uh, we can go to the marina, which is an hour away, or we can go to my house, which is 20. I'm saying marina. Let's go to the marina. I bet we're going to get some beautiful sunsets out there. You hit your home button. You have access to a number of different apps. So Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, you can use on this. We'll go ahead and unplug. You're going to plug it to, into the USB port down there. Next to the traction control, your hazards. You have a 12-volt. Nice volume knob. So you can actually, instead of all these touch screens, just turn the volume up and down. You have Bluetooth capability here. So a great way to, it's a swipe screen. There's the camera. Since the camera's on, you can see we do have another motorhome right behind us here in this display. Tap it, back to home, Bluetooth phone, Bluetooth audio to stream. So a lot of equalizer settings, a lot of great, uh, a lot of great features on this as you uh, work your way down the road and drive to wherever you may be. Maybe your passenger is doing a little work, doing a little live streaming right over there. We have Tom's computer hooked up to the flip out dash workstation. What a great place. You have 110 outlets down below. You have 12 volt plugs so you can blog while you're there. You can post pictures. You can stream a movie because every motorhome that we make is equipped with the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. And it is a really great feature, especially uh, when you want a safe, secure internet connection wherever you are. One of the biggest features people look for when they are camping or looking for a campground is Wi-Fi. They want something with a Wi-Fi signal. Well, if there is one even close or a better one, you can pull it in using the WineGuard Connect. Or if you have a data plan, which you can get through WineGuard, you download the app and then you type in your number and you scan a code, which comes with every motorhome. And then you set up your account and you can either buy a data plan through WineGuard or if you have a SIM card, you can go onto the roof and you open up the WineGuard satellite dish, which is also your radio and TV antenna there. You pop in your SIM card, and then you go ahead and you type in a couple more things, and there you go. Just like that, you have internet no matter where you are. Steve, you know what I like? What do you like, the, Tom? The fact that, you know, everybody's asking, what's the Wi-Fi password? What's yes, the Wi password? yes. What's the Wi-Fi password? Well, you don't have to ask that anymore. Everyone's connected to this system. Yeah. So you only have to connect this system to the campground. Yep. Nobody else has to ask for what their, their password. It's all saved for you. Yeah, and the other thing, too, is I mean, you can set up, uh, you know, you can monitor it that way. If the kids if the kids aren't tied into the campground and up late at night, you know, Wi-Fi off and everybody's good, good night's sleep. So uh, Tom Rocks 1. Tom Rocks 1 is the password.
You don't have to make it Tom Rocks 1. I'd make it Tom Rocks 2. That way it's top secret. Walking through your living area, oh, the storage we have here, the seating options. All right, so you have right here your nice sofa, and that will make into a bed. You take the cushions off, you pull up a nice sleeping area, drop down overhead bunk for another sleeping area, because we've talked about how this sleeps nine. We have the ladder stored, uh, a neat little place I'll show you under the bed. This comes down using your remote with Rapid Camp Plus, but when you do that, you're going to want to take and make sure that your seats are lean back because you don't want to squish this beautiful, beautiful uh, material. Moving over to our dinette, this will seat four with ease, right? You can seat four people here. Maybe you have this pedestal table set up. A couple of people are eating, dining there. This makes into a bed, and I'm not going to do it now because I've already broken way too many glasses, but you clear this off, you flip the handle, this will push down, you move your cushions back into place, and then you have a bed. And then in the morning, you move the bedding, maybe you shove it in one of the drawers down below, maybe you shove it in one of the many cabinets that we have here, and you have a great bed. Entertainment, who doesn't want that on the road, right? You got that right here, because when you're driving and you're going on a long trip, and the driver's here, the passenger's here, and the other passengers that are here, well, if you're connected to WineGuard, you can do something uh, via the Internet. Or maybe you want to watch TV, you can pop in a Blu-ray player. Do have an HDMI distribution box right here. So if you have a Apple TV or a Roku or whatever it is, you can actually plug it in. And then you can route it right there to the TV. So some on-the-road entertainment, which is really, really nice for you. Just, again, you're going to have to make sure that your generator is running when you're driving if you want to watch TV. Uh, as we move down to, we'll talk about your step well real quick here. Uh, there's the controls for your 1800 watt inverter. Again, that's going to run your fridge and a couple of other outlets. You can find the schematics to find out exactly what outlets this inverter powers through our owner's resource page on ThorMotorCoach.com. You type in your VIN. Uh, for current owners, go ahead and do that. I would recommend you do that today because it's a great resource for you. Quick start guides, manuals. Uh, warranty guides because the wind sport is now covered by a 12 year structural, 6 year lamination, and 1 year limited warranty. You will not find that type of warranty anywhere else in the industry. Here's the control for your 100 watts of solar power. It's a 10 amp controller. You can add another panel up top. It is wired for it. There is strapping up there. You just pop it into place, plug and play. Your battery disconnect switch. First thing you're going to want to do when you go camping, go ahead and move this to the on position, leave it here, because when this is on, what this is going to do, it is going to allow your chassis battery to charge your house battery. Uh, it turns on your 12 volt power in here. When you are plugged into shore power or running your generator, you are going to charge your batteries. So the only time you're turning that off is when you're not using your coach, and we have an entire video on how to use your battery disconnect switch on our YouTube channel. This is for your step, whether you uh, want to keep your step in or out uh, when you're at camp, you know, if you're coming in and out frequently, you're going to want to just keep that out. Just make sure you put your step, you flip the switch so the step comes in when you are driving because you do not want to drive with that step out. You could do some serious damage to your coach, to uh, other vehicles. Uh, just make sure that's in. As we move into the kitchen, a lot of great storage for you. I love the glass inserts in this cabinet. It just gives it a nice, warm, inviting look. I mean, this is just a great look in this motorhome. You dishes up there, some some plates over here is the plug for your microwave solid surface countertops in the kitchen solid surface sink cover you have a lot of room here so this is great you can put a cutting board here or maybe you want your cookbook here and you have a, a, an appliance there a blender or a coffee maker however you want to arrange it you're washing up you have the nice pull down sprayer there you're cooking with the convection microwave Oh, this has the oven. I'm sorry, this does have the oven. You can cook with your microwave. You have popcorn, baked potato, can reheat stuff. So this is your standard microwave. And then you do have the oven and you do have the three burner gas cooktop here, which you just turn on your burner and you click light. You can see it spark and then you go ahead and light it. Stove works the same way. Uh, I used this setup in an ACE I traveled in uh, over the summer and it worked fantastic. I mean, we baked in there, we did cookies, did a couple other things. It's a great kitchen layout. All kinds of nice storage here. The drawers stay shut. You can have it, you gotta give it a little tug to open it, and the reason it's like that is so when you're driving down the road, they're not gonna come flying open for you, right? You have nice storage down there. You can store your sink cover down there, access some of your plumbing. Uh, as we move cool back, lighting. 
Oh yeah, we do have to mention the cool lighting here because this is new under the cabinet lighting so when it's dark at night and you can go ahead and you can turn that on and off especially when you have kids up here up front or you know they got to get to the bathroom you turn that on it's a nice ambient glow. it really classes i like to say it classes up the joint it classes up the joint it does it's a nice it's a nice touch here uh, as we add i love this fridge i love this look it's almost like a almost like a gun metal look but this is the new contour residential refrigerator energy efficient cooling this is actually going to get colder for you faster so before you head out on your trip you can get everything nice and cool for you you have your separate freezer you have your cold Ooh, that actually feels nice stick your face in there cool off but you got your temp control up there nice shelves and this is going to stay locked for you when you're driving down the road so your milk doesn't come spilling out if it did wouldn't matter you have residential vinyl flooring here. This is all laid down in one sheet, so you're not going to have seams. I love the way this looks. This is Tom's favorite floor that we make, I think. Am I correct? Yes, it is. Yeah, he says, yes, it is. Yeah, we walked in. He's like, I love that floor. It's like walking on a cloud. It is. I love, I love this new luxury collection in this wind sport. Over here, nice large pantry. I mean, this pantry is huge. You can fix the, fit the family size boxes of your favorite cereal which I love my cereal. Uh, you have pull-out drawers made out of wood, so a nice large pantry for all your goodies that you need. Over here is our Rapid Camp control screen. It's touch activated. All right, so I hooked it up to the app. To do that, you go to the gear, you hit mobile app, you're going to look for this number, and then it's going to ask it for a pin, and then you're going to go ahead and change your pin. That way, um, you're not, nobody else is going to access it at the campground and play tricks on you while you sleep, right? Uh, from your home screen, you can control your lights, master on and off. I mean, they're all off with the touch of a button. They're all on. Check your tank levels. Turn on your water pump, okay? So if you want your water pump on, you go ahead and hit that. Now, a couple of things to mention here. You have your water heater gas and your water heater electric. Here's what I would recommend, especially with uh, the way that this works here. Turn on your water heater gas, okay? So now you've got the gas heating up the water in your tank, okay? Six-gallon tank on his but you're going to also want to hit your water heater electric when you're plugged in that way because the propane is going to heat your water up much much faster this is going to maintain it the water heater is just an element electric and it's really going to maintain uh, that hot water for you when your water pump is on that means you're using water from your fresh tank when it's off you're hooked up to city water make sure you're turning it off otherwise you're going to be using the tank with the water pump on you'll be using the water from your uh, tank you'll go out to dry camp you're like what happened to my water it's because your water pump was on House battery, 13.6. Chassis battery, 13.7. Auto gen start. You can uh, turn that on right with the lightning bolt, like the flash. All right, a couple of triggers for you here. You want low volts or do you want HVAC load? Okay, this how well you can set it. Uh, you, you know, when you have your thermostat set down here, if you have pets that are in here while you're out, the generator will kick on. If you're out there not hooked to shore power, um, when you hit down uh, to a certain temperature or just through voltage and you can go set quiet time what are my start at volts how many times do I want to try to restart it uh, a lot of great information here we do have that link on our YouTube channel if you want to see how this whole thing works post a comment down below and I will send you the link uh, it's a fairly lengthy video because it's super in-depth okay so I'm not gonna go every feature here but uh, I will post that link for you uh, lights for everything you need here. Here's your climate control. Again, you have two 13,500 BTU air conditioners, one up front, one in the back. Furnace, you can set it to auto, whatever you need. Your slide buttons, and then through the settings, you can change the time so it doesn't say that it's 3.05 in the morning because I wouldn't be here at 3.05. I would be off in slumberland. Check out this bathroom because this is huge. And look how light it is. I mean, look at the natural light you're getting in here because you have an exhaust vent up front you also have the skylight over the shower you have a glass door okay so you can get in there you can move around you have a porcelain foot flush toilet there you have medicine cabinets cabinets above you have your sink and look at all that counter room you don't have to put plants in pictures of strangers on your in your bathroom no you can put whatever you want there i do like this little plant though you got towel racks you can hang your towels there's the uh there's the medicine cabinet sink there's a control panel for your rapid camp plus which pops off the wall these are all over so you can control it from your phone the main screen if you're in here you want to open the fan you can do that right from there storage below great bathroom here let's check out the bunks in the 34j all right because these are awesome all right so a couple of kids can sleep in here you got one here you got one there you do have uh 
tablet holders in the back now, right? So they're streaming their favorite show. They're, they're Snapchatting their friends. They're doing the TikToks, which four motor coaches on TikTok now. If you're, if you're a TikToker, and I don't know if that's what people who use TikTok is, are called as of right now. They are. So if you're a TikToker, like the uh, Thor Motor Coach TikTok channel, we just started it. Tom and I haven't done anything goofy yet. But you know that's coming. The other great part about this is uh, we get a lot of people say, I love this 34J. I love the bunks, but I don't travel with a lot of kids. I don't really need this sleeping room. But they don't buy this for the sleeping room. They're gone for a long time. Maybe they're, they're gone for half a year. Maybe you're full time. And you just move this cushion. You lift this up. This will lock into place right over here. And then look at this. Massive closet. Massive closet. You can hang the long coats and the pants. And... I mean, you, you fancy dresses and suits if you want to go out to, maybe you're going to go see an opera, whatever it may be, you can hang it in here. And the nice thing is you don't have to see clothes hanging there all day. It's nice doors, take that right into place and uh, shut off from the world. So it really kind of cleans things up, operates with a strong magnet, and then you just lock those right back into place and away you go. Storage over here, so you can fit uh, whatever you want to put on your vacation. You can go ahead and fit in here. You know, little uh, little trinkets or things you don't want to fall off the shelves when you are traveling down the road. And we move into the bedroom. You do have a sliding door for the bedroom right here, so you do have privacy. You can shut yourself off from from the shenanigans happening up front. As we move into the bedroom, nice king size bed back here. Notice the size of the large nightstands. Over to the left, you do have a 12-volt port, so if you do need a little portable CPAP machine, you have that. 110, you have USB, and Tom, take a shot of all that storage up on top. I mean, look at that to the side, over up to the top. You do have more storage over here, USB ports over here uh, on the bed, so you can plug in your devices there. Here's your AC, and one of the things I like about these air conditioning units, and you'll notice the, the ducts here, you can either close these, and then you're going to duct it with the uh, black foam insulation through the ducts or if you're just love the cold air dumping on it, you open that and then it's like it's like a mountain stream of cold air it just rushes down on you and you're going to stay nice and cold closet space is massive in here okay so if you're using that as a closet you have all of this hanging space these straps right here are for that pedestal table we showed you up front so when you're traveling stays right in place you always know where to find it lock it into place you can go ahead the, the pole snaps in the back there more drawers okay ladder where do you store the ladder or the bunks how about this i love this a little extra under the bed storage here ladder just snaps into place here keep a couple sleeping bags pillows blankets whatever you need right down there under the bed over here we have a tv flip that up you got more storage back there a couple of outlets cable connection so if you want to watch some TV back here you're more than welcome to dressers with a large dresser top 110 USB port so a lot of ports to charge everything you need so the nice shade so you don't have to look at the motorhome behind you because maybe you don't oh you all right Tom yeah. all right all right I'm telling you he's got a big big gear all right so <laughs> Take that however you want. Um, one thing uh, I do want to mention, we talked about uh, a lot of things today. We talked about your Rapid Camp Plus, and we talked about awnings, and we talked about generators and jacks. Well, if you want more information, in-depth tutorials on how to use all those systems, we have that for you on our YouTube page. If you would be so kind, if you haven't, if you're watching this on Facebook or you're watching this on one of our other social media platforms, head on over to our YouTube channel. We'd really appreciate it if you would just subscribe. If you like what you're seeing here, you want to see more of this, hit the like button and let us know. Uh, we love coming to you live. It's one of our favorite things to do, something a, a little bit different. Uh, a lot of great videos for you. All the new model year highlight videos are just about out there. We did have to stop uh, shooting those for about eight weeks this summer due to COVID, but everything is back up and running. And uh, things are great. I mean, it's uh, just a wonderful time to get out there. Just because it's fall, you know, you, you kind of got to start thinking down the road to winterize, but still some great travel weather left. I know there are some states that do have some travel restrictions right now. So if you're thinking, oh, I want to go watch the leaves change color on the East Coast, check ahead because there are quarantine rules that really could impact your travel. You're going to have to probably reroute uh, if that's the case. So make sure you're checking ahead there. 
Um, we also have uh, cooking. If you'd like to learn to cook with the tools in your motorhome, that is called Mobile Meals. We're getting ready to shoot another season of Mobile Meals in a couple months, so those will be coming your way. A lot of great tools for you. I appreciate you watching this week. I appreciate all the questions. We're going we're gonna to sit down and try to answer all these questions. If it's something that I don't know because it's super, super technical and in-depth, I'll go ahead and talk to one of our engineers. I want to get you the answers you need. If you have questions about finding the specific floor plan for you, maybe you say, well, I really like this, this wind sport look, but I don't need the bunks. I don't really want something that big. What's for me? That's where our CoachLink sales advisor team comes in. All right, so we call it your friend at the factory. And here's the nice thing. When you talk to our CoachLink sales advisors, they're, they're, they're not salespeople. They're not going to say, what do I have to do to put you in this motorhome today? What they are going to do is answer your questions. They can help you find the unit you want at a dealer near you so you can go and check it out. It's great to have a friend at the factory here, right? Outside of Steve DeVal, your RV pal, you have a lot more friends at Thor Motor Coach. If you would like to see sales prices from the only full line and fully authorized Thor Motor Coach dealership in the world, visit Motorhome Specialist at MHSRV.com or call 800-335-6054. Motorhome Specialist is the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. With over $165 million in inventory to choose from, all at one central location making it easy to fly in from anywhere in the country and then drive your new dream motor coach home. All sale priced at a minimum of 25% off the manufacturer's suggested retail price every day. You will also enjoy the premier delivery process that can only be found at MHSRV. From the extensive pre-check and make ready process to the only dealership performed and fully automated rain booth test in the industry, you'll see a world of difference at Motorhome Specialist. These additional detail and inspection processes are just a few of the countless steps taken here at Motorhome Specialist to help ensure that you not only receive a better selection and price, but also the unparalleled quality and service that you deserve to go along with it. So get busy living in an all new Thor Motor Coach from Motorhome Specialist today. Why pay more? Why settle for less?